Isaiah chapter 7. Isaiah chapter 7 goes with the book of Judges. And it came to pass in the days of Ahaz, the son of Jotham, the son of Uzziah, who was the king that had leprosy, king of Judah, that Rezin, the king of Syria, and Pekah, the son of Remaliah, king of Israel, north, went up toward Jerusalem to war against it. Civil war. It was a civil war. So, in the midst of a civil war of Israel attacking Judah, now not one king of Israel ever done right. Not one. And it's Ahaz, the king of Judah, and we'll look at him in a moment. Went up towards Jerusalem to war against it. Civil war. North versus south. The only civil war wasn't in America. The only slavery wasn't in America. America needs to open up the Bible and study the Bible. There were constant civil wars of Israel and Judah and Judah in Israel. And it was told the house of David, that would be Judah, the kingly line, saying Syria is a confederate, united or allies, with Ephraim, north. And his heart was moved, the house of David, the heart of his people, as trees of the wood are moved with the wind, natural. They, there's an enemy. And the enemy has joined with our brothers of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And there's still problems with Syria today. Then said the Lord, God speaking, unto Isaiah. So when you read about in the accounts of the kings of Chronicles of Uzziah, Ahaz, Isaiah's there. Go forth now, meet Ahaz. Thou and Shear Jasper, thy son. Isaiah has children. At the end of the conduit, or conduct of the upper pool in the highway of the fuller's field. <clears throat> it's a graveyard for poor people. Let's get all us. There's a civil war. Isaiah steps out to the king. A fuller's field, a graveyard for the poor. They took the money that Judas threw on the floor at the priest and, and gave it to a, a field for poor people. Now, I haven't done no Hebrew and I've done no Greek. And say unto him, take heed, pay attention, <laughs> and be quiet. Shut up. Fear not. Those famous words of Jesus. Fear not. Neither be faint-hearted. Don't go into depression. Don't go into anxiety. For the two tales of these smoking firebrands, Israel and Syria, For the fierce anger of Rezin with Syria and the son of Remaliah. Chapter 7, verse 1. Pekin, son of Remaliah. Because Syria, Ephraim, and the son of Remaliah have taken evil counsel against thee, Judah, saying, well, this is what they're saying, let us go up to Judah battle plan and vex it and let us make a breach a hole that's what a breach is make a hole therein with uh, for us and set a king in the midst of it. let's remove the king of judah and let's put a wicked king in there that's what they're saying they have eyes to kill ahab 
even the son of Tabil. That's who they want to make the king, the son of Tabil. Thus saith the Lord God, it shall not stand. Not going to happen. Neither shall it come to pass. I ain't going to allow it, God says. For the head of Syria is Damascus. That's the capital. Paul or Saul at the time was on, on the road to Damascus. Interesting, interesting, interesting. The head of Damascus is reason, the, the leader, the king, the, the authority. The leader of America would be the President Trump. The leader of America would be Washington, D.C. And within three score and five years, 65 years, shall Ephraim be broken, 2 Kings 17.4. Ephraim is, is the, the son of Joseph of the tribes of Jacob. Ephraim and Manasseh have been made tribes where Levi is not considered a tribe, but the priests. And then Joseph's been broken into two. And the Bible says of Ephraim, let him alone, he's joined idols. Ephraim is a said tribe of the morons, uh, the Mormons. And when you, I think it's the book of Hosea. When, when you have a moron, Mormon, on his bicycle coming to your house, open up that book and say, Ephraim's joined idols. And the entire book speaks against Ephraim. That's who you say you are? <laughs> They're just as bad as a Jehovah Witness. Oh, you're at 144,000? And you're speaking to a female who has children. Well, that's not what the, the qualifications of the 144,000 are. And the head of Ephraim is Samaria. That's Israel. Samaria is the capital of Israel. And the head of Samaria is Remaliah's son. Pika. Notice God, not, God is not even mentioning his name, Pika, the son of Remaliah. If you will not believe, surely ye shall not be established. Do you believe what God said or don't you believe what God said? Now, we're going to get into some interesting information here. We got time. I have been accused of saying I value the death, burial, and resurrection more than the birth of Jesus Christ. Absolutely so. Because Jesus said, go in all the world, preach the gospel. He didn't say go in the world, celebrate my birthday. Nowhere did Jesus put a birthday hat and all the disciples said, happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you. When the birthday of Pharaoh and the birthday of Herod, a man was hanged on the gallows and a man lost his neck. Jeremiah cursed the day he was born. I read that today. Job cursed the day he was born. Now, I'm going to show you the importance that, yes, I believe the death, burial, and resurrection more than the birth, but the birth is absolutely essential. So here we go. Don't take me out of context, please. God will hold you accountable. Moreover, the Lord spake again to Ahaz. There's the king we're in charge. Saying, ask thee a sign of the Lord thy God. Either in death or in height above. That's a blank check. God offered the same thing to King Solomon. Now, if God came to me and offered me that blank check, one through, okay, the rapture. All right, you can't have the rapture. All right, I would want a wife, a job in ministries. I want to bring a King James, reliable, true work to God in the area where God wants me to be. I want a wife to be by my side, to be my help me through that, and, you know, to pay my bills. I want a Proverbs chapter 30 where I'm not too rich, where I call upon a game God's name in blasphemy, and I don't want to be too poor where I have to steal and take the Lord's name in vain. But Ahaz and King Solomon have been by God say, hey, you name it. 
So name it and claim it is a Bible doctrine, but that's not for the church age. That was for Solomon and King Ahaz. Again, people taking scripture out of context. And Ahaz said, I will not ask, neither will I tempt the Lord. So let's go to 2 Kings 16. Real quick. Look at one verse, one or two verses. 2 Kings 16. Let's look at who we're dealing with here. Verse 1. In the seventeenth year of Pekah, the son of Remaliah, Ahaz, the son of Jothan, king of Judah, began to reign. Twenty years old when Ahaz, when he began to reign, and he reigned sixteen years in Jerusalem, and did not that which was right in the sight of the Lord, like his God, like David's father. And he walked in the ways of the king of Israel. Yea, he made his sons to pass through the fire. So this is one of the bad kings. And he's even killed his sons, the Moab. What a great context we're getting to here. And he said, Isaiah said, speaking for God, Hear ye now. Now this prophecy is not to Ahaz. This prophecy is to the house of David. Verse 2. House of David. Okay. Hear ye now, O house of David. This involves a future king. We'll read about that. It is a small thing. For you to weary men. Man, he's been involved in sinful activities. He's not doing right. But will you weary my God also? So see, that's Isaiah speaking. 14, 15, 16 is the first advent in the Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, the Lord himself shall give you a sign and Jews require a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name Emmanuel. That means God with us now let's park there for a moment verse 14 i believe in the absolute virgin birth of jesus christ yes i do mary gave birth to a child without no human man and we'll look at that in a moment there was no sperm involved with the conception of Mary's egg in her womb. No man at all. Now, do you notice what it says? It says, behold a virgin. You know what a virgin is? A virgin is a woman who has never had sex with any man. Okay? We're not going to get into the Hebrew. Oh, you know, here, here a scholar would be in the Hebrew, but you missed the upper pool in the forest field of the, the burying place for poor people to the 30 pieces of silver. You missed that, didn't you? And you missed the fact that uh, we're talking about Damascus, and that's where Paul was on the road to Damascus. You missed all that. So we can go to the Hebrew. Now, I do Webster's 1828 Dictionary, English. I press one. You see the word virgin there? Now, I am old-time Methodist, okay? And I know some great men in the, in, the, in, in the biblical field. I know some great men of preaching and all that. And they will give you credit of a perverted Bible for salvation. Now, they will say out of a per perverted Bible, you can get saved. 
I'm going to draw the line there <clears throat> to a point. And the RSV, the Revised Standard Version of the Bible, is the Roman Catholic Bible. I came out of the Roman Catholic Church April 25th, 1987, when I met the Lord Jesus Christ at 773 Broad Street, Waterford, Connecticut, where I got saved, April 25th, 1987. I came out of St. Mary Star Sea, New London, Catholic, Roman Catholic Church. Now, their Bible is the RSV. Now, the Catholic Church puts a lot of emphasis on the Virgin Mary. Yet, she had children later on. One of her daughters was named Salmon, which is feminine for Solomon. One of the James in the Bible is James, the Lord of Je the brother of Jesus Christ. Oh, gee. Did she have other virgin children? Absolutely not. Can I be clean? After the birth of Jesus, Mary and Joseph got together, had a wing ding as husband and wife, and made children. But it says virgin. Uh, RSV, the Roman Catholic Bible. You know what the Roman Catholic Bible says? It says, a young woman. There's other modern versions of the Bible. With, I'm pointing to the RSV in the Catholic Church, the, the great Virgin Mary, and she was a great woman. Yes, she was. For God to choose her. But you can't proclaim the Virgin Mary and your Bible says, your RSV says, a young woman. A young woman and virgin are two different people. You don't believe me? Go to the American public school system and you'll find plenty of young women who are pregnant. Go to any major city to the free clinic, the free pregnancy clinic, and you'll find plenty of young women who are not virgins. And they have had babies. It's the education in the public school system of sex education. It's not a miracle if a young woman conceive and bear a son. It happens in America almost maybe every day. At least once a week or at least once a month. That's not a miracle. That's not a sign. Now, the other half, here's an old woman, Elizabeth, and she conceived and bears son. There were two miracles. How come they don't raise the birthday of John the Baptist? So, the RSV and the Roman Catholic Church and their great thing for the Virgin Mary, their Bible says a young woman, that's not a miracle. The virgin, no man, no conception, no sperm, and she gives birth to a son, that's a sign, that's a miracle. And he's pre-named like Isaac, John the Baptist was pre-named, Emmanuel means God is with us, God is with us. Butter and honey shall he eat. That he may know to refuse evil and choose the good. Now, did Jesus Christ have a hundred percent good life with no temptations and no problems? Absolutely not. It says to refuse the evil was produced to Jesus. You don't have 12 men. One of them a tax collector, four of them fishermen, and one of them is going to be signing with the devil. And not have problems and want to lose your temper. And Jesus getting angry. He did get angry. Other Bible said he went to hell. Modern Bible said, you know, <coughs> they changed the Bible. So when Jesus got angry and he got angry, well, he went to hell according to the modern Bibles. But he did not sin. Man, he called out, you vipers, you serpents, you hypocrites. That's anger. The devil tempted him. 
all points tempted, but without sin, the, 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 the idea that it was presented to Jesus. But he chose the good. He never chose the sin. Now, evil's brought to me. And let me tell you, I always do not choose the good, sadly. But Jesus Christ, 100%, whatever matter came to him, 100%, he did the good. I could call 12 legions of angels, and yet he didn't. Can you imagine what Jesus Christ, creator, God Almighty himself, can you imagine what he could have done to Pilate? How about before the Sanhedrin, when they put the shroud over his head, and they're punching him, saying, come on, Jesus, who told us who did it? you, you imagine what Jesus could have done? Jesus could have had as soon as he punched, as soon as they punched him, his, his hand would have fell off. Jesus, could, you punched Jesus, and you could have dropped dead. And when he took the shroud, yeah, that, that's the one that did that. Jesus did not go through this life as a fairy tale story. As soon as he went into the ministry, as soon as he was baptized by John, he was fasting 40 days and 40 nights and he hungered the devil said turn that bread into turn that rock into bread so jesus met with the evil temptation but he chose the good for before the child shall know to refuse the evil When he's upon the breast of Mary. Even before the birth of Jesus. And choose the good. The land thou abhorrest. Hateth. Shall be forsaken of both her kings. There is no kings of Israel and Judah. When Jesus comes. It's under Roman authority. From the time that Jesus was born, it was the Roman taxation that brought Joseph and Mary to Bethlehem to be born where he was supposed to be born. Luke chapter 1. Luke chapter 1, verse 28, Gabriel. Gabriel and Michael are the only angels that are named. Michael's called an archangel. Gabriel's never called an archangel. And they don't have wings. And it's the archangel Michael, not the archangel Michelle. And the angel came unto, unto her. Well, verse 27. And the virgin, the virgin, what did Isaiah say? I wonder what the Roman Catholic Bible says. Let me check here for a moment. Let me check here. Let's see. Matthew, give me a moment. I didn't check it, but let's check what it says. Matt, no, we're in Luke. Luke chapter 1, verse 27. Now, in Isaiah 7, 14, it said in the RSV, young woman. Let's, let's check Luke 1, 27, RSV. RSV. To a virgin. The R RSV contradicts itself. So the cross reference of, of Isaiah 7 that we just read, and the cross reference of, of Luke chapter 1, verse 27, the RSV says in Isaiah 7, young woman, the RSV says in Luke 1, the virgin, you lost that cross reference. That's the Roman Catholic Bible. To a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. What did we say Isaiah said? To the house of what? Not Ahaz. And the virgin's name was Mary. And the angel came unto her and said, Hail, hello, thou art highly favored. Well, that's a lot better because... JL had a better 
Wait a minute. No, that's not. And the Lord is among with thee. Blessed art thou among women. In Judges 5, 24, J.L. got it better. I think, I forget what it says, but hers is better than what Mary got. And J.L. just killed a man by nailing his temple with a tent peg. That's Judges 5, 24. And when he saw her, when she saw him, excuse me, she was troubled at his saying, and cast in her mind what manner of salutation, what, you know, what reading this shall be. And the angel said unto her, fear not. Did that mark somewhere in Isaiah? I, uh, fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. Behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb. All right, you're going to get pregnant. Here's the new. And bring forth a son. Do we find that in Isaiah? And shall call his name Jesus. Isaiah said Emmanuel. Emmanuel, God with us. Jesus, Jehovah say. He shall be great. Amen. He shall be called the son of the highest. Amen. And the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father David. We read in Isaiah, there will be no throne. There will be no kings. And there is none. Why the virgin birth? Because God curse the Judean line of David. I'm trying to think of the last king's name. I can't think. Oh, earth, 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 right this man childish in the book of Jeremiah. So you cannot have a male seed of the Judean kings by what God wrote in Jeremiah. So you got to have the virgin birth. Do you believe in the birth of Jesus? I believe in the virgin birth of Jesus. The RSV doesn't believe in the virgin birth of Jesus, Isaiah 7. I'll go, for, here I'll go, ready, 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 now quote me now, quote me. If you don't believe in the virgin birth of Jesus Christ, you can't be saved. You can't be saved out of the RSV, because the RSV said in the prophecy, a young woman. Now how's that my stance for the birth of Jesus? Absolute Jesus was was virgin born of Mary and not Joseph and no man in order to be saved. Now, how, what are you going to take me on that one for? He values the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus more than the birth. Uh, the virgin birth. <laughs> not just any birth, the virgin birth. And again, Jesus and Paul go in all the world and preach the gospel. The gospel has, uh, it does not mention the birth of Jesus. It mentions the death, according to the scriptures. It mentions the burial, and it calls the resurrection, according to the scriptures. Even though the virgin birth is according to the scriptures, that's not the gospel. And then the Christmas, here I go again, the Christmas theme... It's not the biblical doctrine. That manger scene is idolatry, number one. Number two, it ain't biblically co correct. Number three, there were no three wise men. The shepherds didn't show up with the wise men. We don't know. We know Bethlehem, but we don't know where Jesus was born. We don't know the date of the of the of the birth of Jesus Christ. We're not going to. I am not going to celebrate Happy Birthday Tammuz and put the name of Jesus. Thou shalt call his name Jesus. He shall be great, Amen. He shall be called the Son of the Highest, Amen. And the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his of his father, David, King Jesus. Of the Jewish tribes of Israel, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, of the lineage of David, never the church. He shall reign over the house of Jacob forever, and his kingdom shall be no end. <coughs> that sounds great. Then Mary said unto the angel, How shall this be seen? I know not a man. Okay, let's be plain and simple. I don't know if he, I don't know if she knew the name of the angel. Doesn't say. 
But let's see, let's see. Mary, Gabriel, yes, Mary. I have not had any sex with any man. Joseph and I have not known each other. I have not known any man. I'm a virgin. Well, that's not according to the RSV. Now, 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 wait a minute. Now, wait a minute. Mary, here's an angel. You're going to have a baby. It's going to be God-honored. It's going to be God-centered. Is that not what we read in Isaiah? Is that what we not read in Isaiah, right? Are you ready for the axe to fall? They all look forward to Calvary. Mary didn't even look back to Isaiah 7. Why did Mary go through her... Wait a minute. I read about this somewhere. Um... Gabriel, remind me for a minute. Uh, one of the prophets spoke about this. You know, it, it was when he was thinking about Calvary. There it is. Mary didn't even remember the prophecy spoken about Isaiah, a virgin child can see. Don't tell me about they saw Calvary. Mary didn't see the birth, the virgin birth. Maybe she had an RSV. She wouldn't have an RSV. Even though the Catholics were around in the book of Judges. What chapter were we in? Seven. What book of the Bible is seven? I stay there. Let me let me just make sure. I want to make sure I talk right. Judges. I can show you Judges right now in the Catholic Church. Where a man called a father. And was hired. And had the vestures. Get out of the Hebrew and Greek. Get in what the Bible said. All right, so here she is. Mary didn't even see the virgin birth of Jesus Christ. Never mind the Calvary. That's nonsense. And I'll go to the judgment seat of Christ with that thought. And stand before wood, hay, and stubble, and gold, silver, and precious stone. What are you going to get? What am I going to get? Let's keep reading. So she says, I know not a man. What's that mean? Stay there with one hand. Go to Genesis chapter 4. Genesis chapter 4. Genesis chapter 4. Verse 1. Genesis 4, 1. Watch this. Ready? And Adam knew Eve, his wife, and she conceived. And that wasn't like Adam going up to Eve. How do you do, Eve? Good to see you. <laughs> Handshake. Handshaking does not make pregnancy. When a man comes into a woman. I know not a man. I'm a virgin. She didn't quote the RSV. She didn't say, I'm a young woman. Mary had better sense. She was a godly woman. I know not a man. And the angel answered, said unto the Holy Ghost. Shall come upon me. You know, I... When I was in school, I studied the Greek and Roman gods and goddesses. The Roman and Greek gods had sex with humans and the humans had sex with, but, you know, they don't believe the angels of God came down and had sex with the women in Genesis. But it's in the mythology. You're just not smart enough to know history and you're just not smart enough. Yet yeah, I said that. The Holy Spirit shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest God shall overshadow thee. Therefore also that holy thing, imagine the, the, the embryo, God through the angel Gabriel said, that pregnancy in your womb, yeah, Jesus Christ in your womb, yeah, it's called a thing. You know what a noun is? A noun is a person, place, or thing. And the, and the Holy Spirit said, Gabriel, that holy thing. Which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. 
Mary, you're going to remain a virgin. You're not going to be a young woman. You're going to remain a virgin. And God, through the Holy Spirit, is going to take that egg in your womb. And you're going to conceive without man. That's the virgin birth. No young woman can get away with that. Only a virgin would be the miracle. So you can throw the RSV out. And style You know, he honors the death, burial, resurrection. Yes, I do. But I also honor the, the, I also honor the virgin birth. That Mary traveled to Bethlehem. It doesn't say she was on an ass. Read the Bible. It doesn't say that Saul was on a horse. Read your Bible. And that while they were in Bethlehem, her time came to be in the nine months. And there was no room at the end. Yes. And she gave birth to Jesus Christ and wrapped him in sovereign clothes. And unto after the birth of Jesus, Joseph and Mary did not come together to afterward. I believe in my heart that a man to be saved must believe the virgin birth of Jesus Christ. He must believe in the death, the suffering and the death according to the scriptures of Jesus Christ. He must believe that Jesus was buried. And then he was arose from the dead three days and three nights as Jonah was dead in the whale three days and three nights in the heart of the earth where Jonah went to hell, where Jesus Christ went to hell. How's that? How are you doing? Okay. Don't tell me, oh, the death, burial, and resurrection, and I, I don't mind the birth of Jesus. Yes, I do. But I'm not told to go and celebrate the birth of Jesus. I'm told to go preach the gospel. I am told that if I'm going to celebrate anything, I'm to celebrate the Last Supper with the bread and the wine to represent the body and the blood of Jesus Christ. And I'd be very careful on how I do the, the, the supper, the Last Supper, or the communion of the Lord Jesus Christ. Because if I don't do it correct, if I don't examine myself, if I don't judge myself, I could be sick. I could have problems. I could be dead. Nowhere in the Bible says if I don't celebrate the birthday of Jesus, I'm going to be sick, I'm going to be ill, or I'm going to be dead. Nowhere it says go preach the birthday of Jesus. Nowhere it says December 25th. What a good message for New Year's Day. You realize if I had not been in the hospital, we might have been preaching this on December 25th. Hey, listen, you know what? I'm going to tell you something in my life. God has arranged scriptures to come back. The things that happened that day. Yeah, I know you don't know what I'm talking about. My daughter knows what I'm talking about. I know what I'm talking about. I'm going to tell you right now, man. I'll name names. I don't care. I believe it's a sin to celebrate birthdays. When a man is born into sin. As a, as a spark fly up. You're, you're supposed to honor the new birth. But even then, we're not told to celebrate the new birth. We're told the, the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Yes, I believe in the birth of Jesus, the virgin birth. The virgin birth. Too bad the RSV doesn't. That's my stand. That's where I stand. And I'll take that stand to the judgment seat of Christ with gold, silver, and precious stone. I believe anybody else who has wood, hay, or stubble. Now, you don't like what I just said? That's You be narrow-minded. You be narrow-minded. But uh, You come up with me in the comments. You come up with me with one Bible, one Bible verse to celebrate the birthday of Jesus. I'll show you in two places where, where to preach the gospel. I'll show you one place where we're to, where to commemorate the, 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 the Lord's Supper, the communion.
And I've had people, I've many critics, well, we know he wasn't born on December 25th. Yeah. I also show you Christians who witnessed the people, who people gotten saved, and they didn't tell them, you better mark this day down, because this day that you got saved, this day your name was written down in the Lamb's Book of Life, this day that the angels rejoiced in heaven, you didn't tell them to mark down. That's the virgin birth of Jesus Christ. And if, if, if the men of the Old Testament looked forward to Calvary, how come Mary didn't look back to Isaiah chapter 7? Somewhere in her mind. Listen, listen, listen. Shouldn't, go back to Luke 1. I always, I always forget this guy's name. I don't know why. Luke chapter 1, verse Zacchaeus, verse 5. Gabriel tells Zacchaeus, you know what? You're an old man, Right? And your wife is barren, right? Now they're looking forward to Calvary. Why didn't Zacharias say, you know what? This sounds familiar. There was somebody in our history of an old man and old woman that were barren and didn't have any children. Gee, I wonder, Abraham? Abraham and, and, and Sarah did not come into Zechariah's mind when he has this very same story. Yeah, I honor the birthday of Jesus, or the birth of Jesus, the birth date of Jesus, which I believe is the Feast of Tabernacles, but I can't have proof on that. But I'm not told to honor the birthday of Jesus. I'm told to, to, I'm told to preach the gospel. I'm told to be partake of the Lord's Supper. Now, we needed the virgin birth as the miracle, but that was a sign to the Jews. Not to the church, not to the Christians. So I hope you have a, a good day, and I hope your temper flares down, and, and you study the scriptures to see that the King James Bible is correct, and you're wrong. And I will name names. If there's any troubles, any problems that come up from me preaching what I preach, I will name names. It's plain and simple. 